What is going on guys? It's Caleb here. Welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone has had a great weekend. In today's video guys, we're going to be in Wesley Chapel, Florida. Wesley Chapel is located just north of Tampa, Florida, and we're going to be showcasing a community by D.R. Horton called Westgate at Avalon Park. It's a beautiful place and within the next five to seven years, a new downtown area will be easily accessible from within the community. It will feature multiple restaurants, an amphitheater and much, much more. Phase one, which will include some restaurants, will be completed by the end of 2024. Lastly, we're going to take you guys along to check out this Venice Raylan restaurant here in the area. So with that being said, let's get right into the tours. All right, folks, so we are just in front of the first model here in this beautiful community. This is called the Elston uh, floor plan, and it's a two-story house. As you can see, it features four bedrooms. It has two full, you have one half bath, 2,260 square feet of interior space. And I like this property, guys, because the price for the quick move-in homes for this particular model are in between 404 and 410. So I think it's a pretty reasonable price for something that's over 2,200 square feet. So I wanna give you guys a quick tour. Wow, oops, hold on. Got a squeaky door problem. Anyways, let's go ahead and continue. I wanna give you guys a quick tour of this model uh, while we are here in Wesley Chapel today. So as you get in, you notice you do have the stairs just right there to the right. This door here will lead out to the garage space, which I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys here in a moment and then obviously we continue we'll go into the living room kitchen and dining room space but let's go ahead and take a quick tour and uh, show you guys the garage and uh, just a pretty standard you know two-car garage but I also want to go in here and give you guys a quick tour of it there's a look at the water heater just right in the corner uh, right there as well and most of the quick move-in homes that they have already um, being built right now that most likely they'll be built or most likely they'll be ready for um, somebody to move in within the next like three to four months or so sometimes a little sooner just depending on construction time but um, these are typically the upgrades you'll see tile flooring throughout the main level granite countertops um, wood cabinets some of the uh, granite countertops and cabinets will be different colors just depending on what color the builder has for that particular home but here's a look at the uh, kitchen space. I do love the uh, seating area just right over there, just like a bar area. Then you have a look at the sink, dishwasher. We have the microwave oven right there. And then we have the refrigerator with some additional cabinet and counter space just right next to it. Let's go ahead and see what we have here for the pantry. Wow, okay. Not, whoa, hold on. Look at here, guys. We have a little extra space just right there. I got to get my camera down in here. I didn't expect that, but that's actually right under the stairs as well. So I think that was really smart to use that space for uh, pantry space uh, to give you a little bit more space. So uh, well done there. There's a look at the living, or excuse me, dining room space. And then also I love the sliding glass uh, doors right there that will give you uh, some natural light. And then also the windows uh, all throughout the area as well. So. Anyways, we have, wow, I didn't even see this, guys. This is actually an additional pantry space. So we have two pantry spaces in this kitchen area, which is great because if you notice, I actually haven't seen this on this channel ever. This is my first time in this model. So very well done there. So definitely an A plus on pantry space right there. So, um, Awesome stuff. So there's a look at the half bath and I like that it's just right off of, it's kind of hidden right off of the dining room space. So it's not like in the way or anything like that. It's just uh, convenient for yourself or either guests to, uh, you know, use the bathroom um, on the first level and you don't have to go upstairs. So that's great. Um, so let's go ahead and make our way to the second level because we are done with the first level. And as you can see, carpet you will find on the second level but as you get to the top you have a nice little loft space obviously it's staged right now as like a study um, but uh, we do have our first two bedrooms just right here so we'll just start 
on this side. And wow, nice size bedrooms as well. So I'm sure you guys can agree. And I'll go ahead and open up this closet for you. So look at that. And uh, that will conclude bedroom number one. Let's go ahead and make our way to bedroom number two. And again, very nice size bedroom space here. Got nice high ceilings as well. And uh, that closet there is actually identical to bedroom number one. So I won't go ahead and open that, but I'll give you another look at the loft space. And we have our next bedroom, which is bedroom number three. And then we have bedroom number four, which is right here. This is the primary suite. So let's just go here first, right? Since we're right here, king size bed. And uh, again, very nice size bedroom space. This should be the bathroom. Yeah, it was closed. I actually haven't walked this yet. So um, I just turned the camera on and went for it. So nice size uh, bathroom overall, just doesn't have a tub, but you do have a nice size walk in shower, as you can see, double sinks. And then we have the toilet just right there. I think this should be a linen closet. Yes, I was right. And uh, I'm gonna open this one up too, cause I just walked right past it. So I wanna make sure you guys see everything. More space right there as well for storage. And then uh, just right across, I'm sure you guys can see, this is going to be the walk-in closet. So very nice size walk-in closet overall. Then I love the window as well. Uh, so it's just not like a dark space, but uh, very nice, very nice size closet. And uh, let's go ahead and move forward and check out the remaining bedroom and bathroom. So this is our final full bath. Oh, I love that they did double sinks as well. Toilet, shower tub combo. And then we have the laundry room space and it does come with all Appliances included, including the the uh, washer and dryer. So keep that in mind as well. All kitchen appliances and washer and dryer are included with these homes from Dr. Horton in this community. So not too bad at all. Let's go ahead and check out the closet. And uh, yeah, that'll be it. I actually like this model, guys. Not too bad at all. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. But let's go ahead and make our way to the next property. Well guys, just walking over to our next model here in this community, we just left this one right here, which I'm sure you guys just seen, but uh, this single story home, I think you guys will really enjoy it. It's called the uh, Lantana model. Uh, I hope I'm saying that correctly. I'm almost 100% sure I'm not, but uh, just bear with me here. This one's actually a really nice floor plan. I think you guys will really enjoy it. It features four bedrooms, it has two full, then you have one half bath, 2,000, and 45 square feet of interior space. So if you're looking for something that's not too big, not too small, open floor plan, this would definitely be something that I think you should consider. And uh, they're offering this um, layout in between, in this community, in between 453,000 and 475,000, just depending on lot, um, and then also um, different upgrades and stuff like that. So. Um, but for the most part, for the quick move in homes, you can get into this model uh, in between the 453 and the 475. So let's get in and take a quick tour. I love the uh, the entry to this hall. It's so open, nice floor plan. You got a nice open hallway as well. And then uh, high ceilings, like I said earlier, the first two bedrooms are just right here to the left hand side. So we'll just go ahead and start the tour here along with the first full bath. So bedroom number one, here we go. And uh, as expected, very, uh, very good sized bedrooms in this one as well. So I wanna go ahead and uh, open the closet for you. Just a standard closet, not anything too crazy. But uh, we have the first full bath just in between these two bedrooms here just uh just right in between you got your shower tub combo um sink and vanity there and then we have bedroom number two 
and I think they did a really good job staging uh, staging this property as well. So you have a you know really good idea of what your furniture would look like if uh, you do decide this is a model that you uh, that you're interested in. So again, here's a look at the hallway. We're actually just going to go right here to the right, and we'll find the washer and dryer hookup area, and then also it's the entry and the exit to the two car garage. And as always, I'm going to step in real quick, give you guys a quick uh, look at the full space here of the garage, and um, we will continue the tour. So overall, so far so good. And um, then we'll have the next bedroom just right here to the right hand side as well, just right before we get to the kitchen and uh, and living in dining room space. So bedroom number three, obviously it's being staged as an office. Um, it is a little smaller though. So just, you know, just so you guys are aware, this is definitely a smaller bedroom than the first two. Um, but you know, it, it would be better served probably if you could uh, as a nice office space, uh, as you can see it's staged as. So let's go ahead and open this up because this is where we'll find the half bath. Let's look at the sink and bed. Whoa, squeaky door. All right. so. There's a look at the toilet and then again, sink and vanity. And let's go ahead and close the squeaky door. Actually, I lied. It didn't squeak at all. So anyways, we got the kitchen just right here to the left hand side. And then as we look to the right, we have the living room and then also the dining room just a little bit uh, past that. So really nice area here. Very, very good size area. We got to look at the refrigerator wood cabinets, and then we also have the granite countertops. There's a look at the microwave oven. Let's see what the pantry looks like. Dun, dun, dun. All right, so, hmm. not too bad. You know, it's not too, it's not big or it's not too small either. So I'll just give it a medium sized pantry, right? So anyways, turn it around. We got the dishwasher, we got the sink. And then I love how open it is. You can just be in here cooking. And then also, you know, you can be watching TV as well. And then obviously you have the dining room uh, just right there with all these windows. Look at that. Nice big sliding glass door, window one, window two. And uh, then we have the primary bedroom, which is our fourth bedroom uh, just right here. So let's take a quick tour and uh, hope you guys like it. So anyways... Good size bedroom. Then you have uh, tray ceilings as well. So I'm gonna give you guys a look at that um, while we're here. And we'll go ahead and make our way to the primary bathroom. Here's a look at uh, one closet space number one. And then we have closet space number two as well. So not, not too much closet space. To be honest, not too much closet space, but a decent amount, but definitely not anything over the top. And then we have our double sinks just right there. And uh, same countertops as you do in the kitchen you have here in the bathrooms as well. So walk-in shower, then you have the soaker tub. Love that there's a window there just so this place is not like a dark cave. So I think that's great to give it a little bit of natural light and then should find the toilet space just right there. So. Anyways, I think that's it. I think I showed you guys everything. Actually, hold on. Wait a minute. I want to show you guys the back because they actually come with these lanai's that are really nice as well. So just want to give you a look at that. And this one's obviously situated on a pond. So if you're not somebody who's like, I don't want a house on a pond or any kind of water view, then they have options for those as well. So this is just a model home. So keep that in mind. And uh, yeah, so I just want to give you a quick look at the whole lanai space here. And uh, that will be all for this tour, guys. Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, that'll be it. Well, guys, we have made it to a new spot here in Wesley Chapel. It's called Crate at the Grove, and it's comprised of 94 shipping containers that they're used as shops, restaurants, boutiques, really everything here, which is a really cool spot. So we're uh, pretty, uh, pretty excited to check this whole place out. It's only about 15 minutes away from Westgate at Avalon, which was the DR Hort community we just showed you guys those homes in. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and check out a Venice Whalen restaurant. It has really good reviews, which I'll pop up right here. And then also, I don't know what it's called. I don't know how to say it. She's better at that than me. So what is this place called? It's Chamobai. Like... Chamobai. Perfect. Good. Anyway. <laughs>
<laughs> so, yeah, so anyways, it's actually just right behind us. So we're going to go ahead, get in there and uh, do a little review of this place and share it with you guys. So let's go ahead and go. We stepped into this nice little restaurant that serves Venezuelan cuisine. The atmosphere was great as they had music and the staff are super friendly. As you look around, it has some space to sit inside and outside, plus pictures with food options displayed throughout. We went straight to the menu and they have hot dogs, different platters and desserts, but also arepas, cachapas, tequeños and burgers. We took our time deciding as it was our first time trying this place. We ordered three empanadas and the pabellón plate. They looked amazing. We waited around 15 minutes as it was made to order. The pabellón plate included white rice, black beans, shredded chicken, and sweet plantains. We wanted to try different options of empanadas, so we got one with shredded chicken, one with shredded beef, and the last one with ground beef all done with fresh ingredients and seasoned with bold spices. We went for it and as expected, it was really good. This is all new to me as I'm learning more about Latin food and so far I have really enjoyed everything as I'm sure you can tell. The empanadas were good, but my favorite one was the ground beef. Everything was well seasoned and delicious. It is a good place to stop for a bite if you are in Wesley Chapel, close to Tampa. There are many more restaurants and shops to visit here, so come check this spot out if you are in the area. That will be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And if you need any help with buying or selling a home here in Central Florida and or Tampa Bay, my email will be down in the description below. That'll be all, and we'll see you guys in the next video.